Lucinda and I uh, um, based in Wiltshire in the UK on the Salisbury Plain. We are working absolutely tirelessly to uh, have these horses prepared and fit to represent Australia and uh, win gold medal at the Olympic Games. On the movie set that is England's West Country, there's an Aussie Olympic story with everything. Romance, dreams, tragedy and triumph. What's more, the best may be yet to come. Technically, is there a chance you could be on the podium together? Is that possible? Yes. Yeah. Now that would be a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look, it, it's a str but, yeah, it's a strong it's possibility. We're, we're, you know, and I actually won't argue if if, if you're on the higher step than me. <laughs> Clayton Fredericks and his horse Ben are equestrian eye candy. Lucinda and her Britannia set pulses racing. And I think, Ian, if I was a horse and I had Lucinda wrapping her long legs round me, I think I'd jump like this little horse, you know. Together, their team Fredericks, the hottest couple in their sport. Clayton may well be Australia's least known world number one, a classic overachieving expat. I made a decision very early in my eventing career to um, put myself in the place where I think I, you know, I felt I could do the best. Um, and for me, that was going to be Europe, uh, predominantly England because we have, there's just so many events here in the UK. Good, change the bend to the right. The Fredericks are a business, one that funds an expensive sporting ambition. They've bought a farm, built stables for 30 horses and accommodation for their six permanent staff. Sponsors queue up and they even have their own brand of tack. Horse fever runs in the family. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. <laughs> Little Ellie's dad was a suburban son of a Perth builder when he saw his first horse 40 odd years ago. Probably when he was about two years old, um, would see a horse in a field and, or paddock and just absolutely, ah, oh, horsey, horsey, you know. Bob and Pauline Fredericks began with a horse in their backyard and a rented float and Clayton became champion at Perth Royal Show for 10 straight years. He founded riding schools in Perth and then Melbourne. I remember driving across the Nullarbor with my horses on listening to the ABC radio, um, hearing about um, Matt Ryan, you know, winning the gold medal at Barcelona. And, <clears throat> you know, that sparked something in me. I just thought that this is what I want to do, you know, and uh, I've spent... Um, all the time since then striving for it. He came over with three and sold one to help fund. We sold the riding school in Perth to, we sold the one in Melbourne first and then he sold the riding school in Perth to keep, keep the funds going. And basically that's, that's what happened. And then he met the lovely Lucinda, who's been just amazing. They have more than just horses in common. Lucinda Murray was reserved for England's 92 Olympic team. Clayton was about to fly out to the Atlanta Games when his horse went lame. Before Athens, another was hit by a car. There is so much uh, disappointment in our, our sport. You know, we've been very, very lucky that we've had some high times, but you know, there's been uh, probably twice as many or three times as many down times as well with horses and, um, and things. And I don't know if uh, someone else would understand, you know. Um, I think they would be telling you, why the hell are you in this sport, you know. Of course, as far as love affairs on horseback are concerned, here in England's West Country, they've been literally writing the book for some hundreds of years. But it took a lot more than just finding each other to get Clayton and Lucinda to where they are right now. Both needed to find the perfect horse. And in Bannalong time and Headley Britannia, the Fredericks have managed to do just that. I think she could have kicked on and got the short one, but good for her. Three-day eventing is the ultimate test of a horse. 
The cross-country gallop alone can last 12 minutes and involve 35 jumps. Backing up in dressage and show jumping is what sorts out the champions. So these once in a lifetime horses, is that uh, how... You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you, you wait your whole life. I mean, we're just so lucky to have, have horses as good as these two. I mean, you know, they are probably the best horses in the world, no doubt. Hong Kong's Macaulay family funded Clayton onto Ben a long time, resisting offers that get bigger with every achievement, like last year's Kentucky Rolex. It's a four-star event, the hardest there is, and at that level, Ben has never missed a rail. As soon as he comes into the arena, he just lifts and has this fantastic presence, and uh, that's what makes the clear rounds. You know, he gets in the arena and he lifts to the occasion. And it really helps. And she's, the interesting thing is, oh, look at the power there. Oh, and in mid, but again, runs in close, but such a good jump out. The Frederick's own Headley Britannia. She's the wrong size, sex and colour, but won Burley and then Badminton, like a French Open and Wimbledon. It made the mayor unique and the owner a winner for Australia. To go to the Olympics after winning the Burley and the Badminton will just be the ultimate. And Clayton and I had a long, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about it and we just decided it was going to be easier if we were just going for the same team. On the day Wide World of Sports visited Team Fredericks, their new horse float arrived. It's a million dollars worth of convenience and luxury for horses and riders. Stainless steel, wood panelling and cutting edge electronics. It says what this sport means in Europe and the Fredericks place in it. Generally from our point of view when we sell to a top professional like Clayton, um, he's worldwide known, you know. You, you, you go all over the world and people know this guy. With her bloodlines, Ellie is probably preparing for the Olympics, just not the next ones. If she could, she'd ride all day. Her parents certainly do. Clayton even gallops himself in a jacket to replicate the heat of Hong Kong. Yeah, come on, all the way. Come on, last bit. Good, well done. Clayton's climb from a backyard in Perth to the top of eventing is amazing enough. Happily married to his sport, after years of work and near misses, life has finally come together on the back of his amazing Ben. If it gets to the Games, Team Fredericks believes it can meddle. We always used to say, look, you know, a win for Lucinda is a win for me anyway, and vice versa, so to be up there together would be Amazing. I think that really would be retirement. <laughs> <That> would be... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what would happen. It would be one hell of a party, I can imagine.